What's up guys, my name is Hollow and I've been contemplating on making this video for a pretty long time now and I'm gonna make this video strictly for the people that actually come to this channel and just watch my channel for me and a little bit of Call of Duty but for the real supporters and I hope that with this video I can motivate some of you guys and and make you see that there always is a light at the end of the tunnel there is always um success waiting for everybody and to just never give up on whatever it is you want to do maybe some of you guys will decide to do youtube maybe some of you guys have been contemplating on doing youtube maybe this video uh will help you out if you guys want to share this video with a friend or whatever or just share with yourself i guess it's not a video that i'm, I'm not gonna ask you guys to drop a like or a dislike or even comment below it's just a video strictly to tell you a little bit of my story and and in hopes that i can um, enlighten some of you guys, especially my younger uh, audience. I know we joke around a lot and we definitely do a lot of stupid things in this channel, but it's all for fun and games. You only live once, you can't be so, you know, stubborn and, and I, I, Captain, every single day. You know, you gotta have moments where you loosen up and you have fun. So, a lot of you always ask me to make a video about how I started my YouTube channel and how I came to have, you know, over, over 700,000 subscribers. So, I'm gonna do that today gonna do it for you guys it's saturday i think it'd be a good video for you guys to just sit back relax and, and and enjoy this little story i got for you guys before i started youtube i met rebecca uh you guys always ask me if we met when i was a youtuber and we did not she is the reason why i am a youtuber and we met and um when i met i was a personal trainer when we met i was a personal trainer and she was teaching uh zumba and boot camp at night and going to schools to become a pa full-time and I was just a personal trainer. I didn't have a real job. Um, I, I, I wasn't going to school. So I met her two, three months after going out with her boyfriend and girlfriend. I moved into her parents' house. So when I moved into her parents' house, I, I don't know why. I don't know how they did it. But they basically supported me. You know, they Rebecca got me into going to school. She told me, you know, you should go into school, you know, get a career. So I did, I started becoming, I did EMT, paramedic, and then I, I was, you know, in the process of going to fire school or whatnot to become a firefighter. And before that though, her parents were maintaining me. I was a 22 year old, no school, no job, being maintained by my girlfriend's parents and and not having anything to, to be able to say here, you know, and, and that feeling sucks. Not being able to give any type of support at all uh, or, or provide anything as a man, that feeling really does suck. So they helped me out. You know, they some reason they, they helped me out. And I'll always be thankful to them for that because if it wasn't for them or Rebecca, I wouldn't be here sitting down in this comfortable chair. I wouldn't. So I started going to school. Rebecca was going to school. We'd go to school different days. And um, Rebecca's nephew, Andrew, you guys have seen him here. He has a room. In that room, he had a PlayStation 3. I asked him one day if I could play. He let me play. So the days that I wasn't in school, Rebecca's parents were working and Rebecca was in school. I'd go into his room because he'd only come over on the weekends. And I'd go over to his room and play PlayStation 3. There, I beat Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater, which I beat it for like the second time. Uh, I beat Assassin's Creed. I beat a few of his games. And that love for video games always came, you know, it just came back to me. I've always had it there because I've been playing video games since I was five. Uh, my mom introduced me to Mario back when I was a little boy. And that that passion for video games just came back to me. So I asked Rebecca one day, uh, Christmas was coming along, and I asked her for an Xbox One. I got her a nice gift as well. Uh, but I asked her for an Xbox One, which was a pretty, pretty big deal for me at the point. Because I was just, I just had an urge to have the brand new Xbox One. So she got it for me. You know, Christmas came along. She 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 made me go hunting for clues around the house. I found the last clue. It was an Xbox One. I posted that on Instagram, I believe, a long time ago. I started playing Xbox One. I bought Call of Duty Ghost. And um, because Angel had got it on a PlayStation 3, I told him to get it, you know, before we got the Xbox. So when I got the Xbox One, we got Call of Duty Ghost. And we started playing Call of Duty Ghost on Xbox. At this time, I was going to school every day. I'd go to school in the morning. I'd be watching Call of Duty Ghost videos, just videos and videos on videos on videos. 
and I was like, man, I really want to do this. This seems like a lot of fun, you know? And I, I told Rebecca one day, I, I think I'm going to make YouTube videos. And she never gave me an if, why, ands, or buts, nothing. She just said, all right, just do it. So I got an Ogato and I got my, myself some tur turtle beaches. Um, my first video was with, uh, some turtle beaches. The commentaries was with a turtle beach microphone. My first video on YouTube was in a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare trailer, which got copyrighted about 30 minutes in. But that was my first video. So I kept going and going and going. I started making videos and videos. I was recording my videos in Angel's room. He gave me a little section. Um, if you guys have been in the channel for a long time, he gave me a little section where I would record and edit my videos there. So I'm really thankful to that little kid for that because little kids always want their room. When I was a little kid, I, I never really had my own room um because certain reasons but when you're a little kid you always want your room so i gotta be thankful for that so i would make my videos there and you know months went by call of duty ghost came out advanced warfare came out then on october i think it, it was I don't, I don't remember more or less but around that time we found out rebecca was having a baby we were having a baby and you guys know him ryan so we're like we got we gotta move we don't have space here so her brother rented us his apartment. We moved into his apartment there. We were paying rent there, living there. My gaming room was a closet, which you guys saw the one that had the green screen, the little closet. It was literally a, a five by five closet. It was a very small closet. So I made all my videos there. Um, Ryan was born a few months after us moving there, or probably actually a few weeks. I'm not quite sure, but we had literally just moved in. And almost after we moved in, he was born. It was crazy. I, I honestly, I was so excited. It was probably the best moment of my life, but with the same token, it was so much responsibility and, and we needed to provide, you know, I needed to provide for my family that I, I really thought I was going to have to, you know, leave YouTube. And at this point I was doing YouTube for about a year already. And I had fallen in love with YouTube. I had fallen in love with making videos and bringing content and seeing the reaction, you know, on, in the comment sections or the likes in the videos. It was awesome. And I really thought I was going to have to quit YouTube because I was working at this time. I had already, you know, got in my EMT license, almost done with paramedic school, working in the field already, but I wasn't making enough money. And I thought I was going to have to work overtime two more days a week. I was working three days of 12 hours a week and then making YouTube videos the rest of the days or when I come home at, you know, nine, 10 o'clock at night for the next day to be up early in the morning. So I wasn't making enough money. I was literally making like two, three hundred dollars a week, which when you have a family and then it wasn't a lot of money, you know, it, it wasn't. Rebecca was still going to school full times, eight hours a day because she was going to be a PA and that 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 entails a lot of hours into schooling. So I had to provide for my family. And there was a point where we actually owed association fees which is basically your, you have a management company and 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 um, you have to pay that management company every month for them to maintain the building etc so uh, we had about three months um it wasn't a big deal because her family always helped us out and um you know it, it wasn't like we were like up to here but the fact that we owed money and and we couldn't me myself or us as a, as a family we couldn't we couldn't pay that because we were really tight on money it just sucked, you know. You know, we had a newborn. We we really didn't have the luxury to to do whatever we wanted to do, buy whatever we needed to buy. Black Ops Three comes around. Suddenly, I I kept doing the same thing I've always done: post one video, two videos a day. Suddenly, my videos just started booming. They started blowing up, getting a lot of exposure. A lot of people were subscribing to my channel. Everything was going out of nowhere, literally, out of nowhere. Everything was just going so well. It's like Ryan came with like a loaf of bread under his arm. You know, it's that's that's a Hispanic saying. Basically, when you have a newborn, God always helps you out. So God has always looked out for me. And and then I really feel like he looked out for me because not because he chose me, but because I kept working hard, man. And I had a dream. I had a passion. I had a vision. And I was always that type of person that, oh, people are only successful because they get lucky or they're born into a rich family or successful. I'm not saying I'm rich. I'm a millionaire, but I, I feel like I'm successful because I do YouTube videos. I play video games and I can maintain a family. 
to me that's success so i always had a vision i had a dream i kept going after it there was days where i wanted to quit youtube i didn't want to make any videos i would get so pissed off i would just literally go to bed and go to sleep because i was just mentally stressed out and rebecca was always there to push me keep going just keep doing it you're gonna have bad days you're gonna have good days there was days that have good days there's days i had bad days and she was always right and i always leaned on her to to basically motivate me and i still do till this day and that was one of the main reasons why i kept pushing never in my life i had i ever done something and just kept going i always quit always 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 quit and this time i never quit and i never will quit and i will keep going because i kept going i kept going and my channel blew up out of nowhere so months went by i kept gaining subscribers there was a point i gained like 120,000 subs in one month which was possibly my best month that and probably one of the best ones i'll ever have but you know you always got to have a positive mind so i kept going and going and the more revenue i started making generating from my youtube channel the less days i'd work at my job so it came to a point where i was working one day a week at my job and making youtube videos every single day now i wasn't making enough money to just quit my job you know i really wasn't um i was kind of just we were comfortable we were at the point where we were comfortable but we were in a really small apartment so one day i, re I remember february of this year i decided to you know i had one my first good month i had my first good month like my first month where we were like oh my god this is amazing you know this is this is like a dream come true i was having a lot of bs at work my boss was up my ass um i hated working as a paramedic seeing sick people people dying people it, it was depressing field i come home i had to leave my boots outside it was full of you know, a lot of diseases that you don't want to spread to your family, especially a newborn child. I wasn't happy. I really was not happy. And that day I, I told Rebecca, I'm quitting. I think I think it's time for us to move forward. I think it's time for, you know, for, for me to just give this a go. If it fails, then I'll I'll have to recollect my thoughts and, and get a job. And, you know, we at least we tried. But if it succeeds, we'll, we'll succeed, you know. So I did. I quit my job. And I wrote my letter to my boss, told him everything. You know, I think it's time for me to move on, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I just, I quit. I completely quit. I chased YouTube 110 percent, full throttle, two, three videos a day, and it worked out for me. It did. Ever since I quit my job, my YouTube has evolved to a scale that i never thought it would in one year right now things are slow because call of duty is slow but i know november december next year it's gonna go back up again but at this time i was i was just mind blown with all the success i was having so here i am today going from literally having no money making nothing being broke at 22 years old just not having anything to provide to moving out of the apartment in a brand new office comfortable chair providing for my family buying my family my son and my my fiance a brand new house remodeling the brand new house and and just being able to provide for my family as as a man as as you know as a young man being able to you know, have 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 my fiance Rebecca get my son whatever she wants to get him, um, whatever it is we need, we we can have it. You know, and that's because I chased my dreams. You know, and and I chased this YouTube passion, and I kept chasing it, and I kept chasing it, and I'll forever keep chasing it until YouTube is no longer a system, and I'll forever keep chasing it because YouTube is an is an amazing platform, and it's changed my life forever. You guys have changed my life forever. I will continue to improve, recollect my thoughts, and make better videos next next Call of Duty. Um, and it was all because I had a passion. I didn't have it in me to keep pushing, and my fiance kept pushing me for me to keep pushing. So I kept pushing after that. It's a lot of pushing involved. 
and and that's what i want to tell you guys if you have a dream it's not luck it's not being blessed you're blessed when you work hard god will bless you life will bless you when you work hard and you never give up if you give up you never know what things could have you know been and you can have a channel that channel probably makes you no money makes you no views you get no love you keep doing it eventually it's gonna spark eventually you just gotta make sure the videos you're making are are just made with pure love in, in other words don't make half-assed videos if you have a passion perfect your passion perfect your skills and keep pushing i still have a lot of perfectioning to do and i will continue to do that i just want to let you guys know that there is nothing in this world that is impossible i would have never in a million years told myself i'm going to be sitting in my own home i can see my kid every single day see my wife every single day sitting on a chair playing video games making a living i would have never three years ago i would have never told you that my first paycheck on youtube was 80 cents and i didn't care i didn't really care i just loved it so much i kept pushing so my message here to you guys is just don't give up. Nothing is impossible as long as you really have a passion for it. But if you don't have a passion for it, don't do it. Because you could succeed, but you're not going to be happy. I could be making a dollar and I'll still be doing YouTube because I love it. I, I just love YouTube. I, I love there's drama, but I love what it what it's given me and been, you know, giving my, my, my family recently and all the love and all the nice people that I've been able to meet and just it's an amazing feeling and I am a living, breathing person that can sit here before you and tell you guys nothing is impossible. That is somewhat how I came to be, you know, hollow point, you know, and um, I am now a pretty decent YouTube channel size size wise. Um, hopefully I will continue to grow and perfect my skills. And I hope you guys found this video somewhat motivational and I hope my message got across to you guys that you can you can do anything you put your mind to. You really can. It's pretty crazy, but you really, really can. So do whatever it is you have a passion for. Forget what your parents tell you. If I would have done this with my parents living in my house, I would have never been able to do this because my parents... They're old school. You tell them, hey, man, I'm making videos online. I'm making a living. They'll be like, bro, stop dreaming. Go back to school. <laughs> and my parents just found out I did YouTube two months ago. And they, they don't believe it. They, they still don't believe how well it's gone for me. You know, so they're really happy. But I'm telling you is your parents are not always going to be right. You always got to follow what's in here. So if you love something, keep pushing. Just make sure it's it's. It's, it's something that you really love. Even if it's something that you cannot even see it right now. If you know that it is possible, then just do it. So, <clears throat> I think I've talked enough. I think this video has been long enough. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I uh, contemplated a really long time on making this video. So, feel free to let us know in the comments. If you guys have any types of uh, dreams, I would say. What do you guys want to do? Or what do you guys have to say? Comment it down below if you feel like it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, I'll catch you guys later on a goofier video probably. Like always. My name is Hollow. And thank you for watching. Catch you guys later. Hey, what's going on guys? I just want to give you a quick update. I'm only 9 subscribers away from 2,000 within 3 months. That's absolutely amazing. And for the first time...